Hello! Um, I noticed it's been a while since I had a video up, and so I thought, oh, what the heck, I'll do it. It's Sunday evening, it's 9.20. Why am I still looking at this? I forget about this thing, and about this. I, there's just so much with this new computer, it's still new. It's still not, I don't know. Anyway, happy rainy day. There's no real, um, celebratory thing at the moment. I guess, happy late Hanami. I didn't really do a, a video on Hanami, even though I did go... Like, I went to the YouTube one, but I was late because, um... Oh, it's so embarrassing. I don't think I talked about it because I don't remember what was in my last video. It says Happy Easter, but anyway. Um... So I had my English friend here staying with me. And I was like, do you want to go to the YouTube thing? It, they're having at Yoyogi Koen. And he's like, sure, let's go, okay. So we went... Um, well, first, I, it was on Sunday, so I went to church, and um, then I got back, and the thing started at 12, and I didn't get here till a little after 11, and so I knew I was going to be late, but I was like, oh, that's okay, because um, it's not like we have to be there on time, and I tend to be late for a lot of things, apparently. When it's really, really important, I'm on time, but when it's casual, then I'm often late, or if it's, like, school sometimes, it was starting to get pretty bad there. Wow. Oh, okay, I see what's going on. I got sunburnt. Um, I don't know if you can really see it. No. Well, I am darker than I am usually white on this side because it's actually red. But it doesn't show up well with the camera. But you can kind of tell because, like, my eyebrash, eyebrashes, my eyelashes, my eyebrows, <laughs> whatever these things are up here, are very, um standout-ish right now, but I'm all pink because I got burned yesterday. More about that later. Anyway, um, so, uh, he didn't think I was getting back till 12, because I'd said 12 was the thing, but I told him, like, right before he's going to bed or something, so he didn't really know what was going on, and so when I got here, he was still in his pajamas and stuff, and so he got into the shower and got ready and stuff, and we didn't get going till after 12, I think. So he showed up, and I, I, like, I was checking Tokyo Kuni stuff for all the directions and making sure it was still because uh, the weather looked kind of rainy-ish. And um, so I was like, well, are they still having it? So I went and I saw the map and I was like, okay, they're near this little number. They're like near number five. And I saw the map and it's the right map and everything. And we get there and I'm like, okay, let's go to the shrine. <laughs> because I didn't know that, uh, well, Meiji Jingu is right next to Yoyogi Koen. And... I didn't know that because I just had never been to Yoyogi Koen before and I figured it was the same thing and so we spent like, I don't know if it was more than an hour wandering around Meiji Jingu um, like, um, they should be around here anywhere. <laughs> it's like, there's nobody and uh, there's people walking going to the shrine and stuff of, of course and then in the park area where you can see like the Shinjuku clock tower, the AEU clock tower maybe, I don't know what it is, but the big clock tower out of the south exit of Shinjuku station. Um, it's a big grassy area and there's like one group of Japanese people. And so it was like, I don't think they're here. And so we decided to keep going and I heard some music, or we both did of course. I'm saying of course a lot. But we both heard some music so I'm like, okay let's just follow the music. And so we go, and we start going, and when I brought my mom here, oh my gosh, almost two years ago now, a uh, year and a half ago, um, we went to Harajuku to see the Har Harajuku stuff, and when we were there, I was like, I think I hear techno music, and we followed it for quite a ways, and it turned out there was a free outdoor rave. And so um, this was the area that we were going. And I was like, oh yeah, this is, okay, because there's the the Elvis impersonator guys that are there every Sunday dancing with their hair and the jeans and the coats and all that other stuff, but not the coats, the leather jackets. And they were there, and then we keep keep walking. Um, now this is Paul and I going, trying to find everybody doing the Hanami. And so we see them, and they weren't dancing yet. I don't know if they, they were all combing their hair. And we kept walking, and it was like, oh my gosh, there's a park here too. <gasps> And I felt so embarrassed because then I was like, oh my gosh, this is where we're supposed to be. And I felt, uh, it was just like, I'd led him around for so long just walking and we, we hadn't eaten. And we finally just ate in the shrine. There was like this restaurant area that we ate in. And um, so we did have some sustenance, but it wasn't too much. But it was really late and we had been walking forever. And so I led him, led him on this huge wild juice, goose, wild juice case, wild goose chase. And I felt very, very humbled 
as I often do, I humble myself more than anybody else can because I just, I'm very ditzy, I guess. So we got there and I'd been calling people, that was another thing, I'd been calling a couple of the people that I know and everybody had their phones off, I guess, or else they just didn't have them. Well, actually, I tried to call KK, uh, KKA Japan, and I have two numbers for her, and I guess one's wrong, because I, I called, and this, like, Jamaican guy answered, and I was just like, oh my, and it was very, very embarrassing, and I finally just was like, sorry, uh, Machi Gai Denma, <laughs> I got a wrong number, and just hung up, because it was just freaky, because the guy, it was, it was just freaky. And so, um, I was messaging people and never heard from them, so I was like, oh, well. So we decided just to walk in Yoyogi Koen, and it's big, as Koens often are. Even the small ones are big. Everything's kind of big here when there's tons of people. And it was packed. There were so many people. And so we walked down the main thing, and I saw the number thing or whatever, where they're supposed to be. And we're just walking. I saw somebody with a YouTube shirt on, but I was like, oh, well, they're probably dispersed because I didn't see anybody I knew, so we just kept walking. And um, we went to the middle area where there's a couple fountains and there were people playing music and there was this guy that had a dog that he tied to the bench and then he got on top of the bench and started doing push-ups. And then three guys doing hacky sack and it was pretty cold and it was starting to rain and they were in shorts and short sleeve shirts but it, and like thinner than anything. Like their legs are like this thin but doing hacky sack really cool. And some drummers and stuff were doing a happy birthday for who knows who, and they had this nice balloon. And this lady's trying to take a picture with this huge camera that looked like a UFO, and it was like a modern day Polaroid blah, 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 camera thing. I think you guys know what I'm talking about, unless you're too young. Um, and then there's like these people playing drums, and uh, like it was all these black guys and then one Japanese lady and she was the best lady ever because she's sitting in the middle of them and they're just really really jamming out on these like bongo -y drums and stuff and they're just like yeah yeah and, but she's in the middle and she's like ah! and she was so happy and I loved it and I couldn't take pictures because my camera was so full of pictures because I hadn't I'd been lazy lately and I hadn't put any on the computer so it was full and um uh, my friend was able to get a couple pictures and the picture that he got was great because it looks like she's actually looking right at the camera which she, she may have been but we don't know because um, she's the picture just has her like if if you guys are the camera she's sitting like this and she's like or whatever it is and um, I just loved her and then there were these like la big ladies dancing to it and everything it was just great and then this really really weird artsy Jap Japanese guy that was doing this painting and he had like this beatbox thing or something like a, an old cassette player or it wasn't old or I don't know some weird thing where you could um, control how fast music was going so like he'd have it at normal speed and he's painting he's just like oh and he's not really looking at anybody because when he'd look out in the audience he's just looking elsewhere and he's just dancing around all strange and so then he starts and he finishes and he just he takes oh my gosh I don't know what that was um, <laughs> I'm getting too excited he takes his painting he holds it up and he's like mm. and he's just showing everybody and then he changes the speed of the music to like really fast and he's like dancing around and stuff and he picks up the sign saying who he is or something where he's gonna be and he's showing it to everybody and then he turns it really slow and he starts moving really slow and puts the painting down that he's just like not looking at anybody and then he gets up these flyers and just is like hmm, hmm, hmm. and it's like oh my gosh and so then we left and we were like okay we'll just do one more walk by I'll look to see if I can find KK's hair because she has light hair and most people don't have light hair in Japan and so we're walking, and I actually saw her. And so we actually joined up with the YouTube group right before they left for the pub. And so we were at the Hanami when it was raining, and then we did go to the pub, the hub, the pub, the English pub thing. And I didn't drink anything, I just was like, I don't want to drink. And then we went to karaoke for a little bit, and then we left. And that was that. But um, I ran out of time. <laughs> Oh well! Um, so yeah, happy Hanami! Um, school starts this week, so I'll be teaching again at the college as well as working at Telephone English, and so work is going, and um, I wish it were warm. Right now I've got like two jackets on, and my shirt, and it's cold, and I usually have this nice little throw or whatever it is from my aunt, because it's, it keeps me warm, but it's so cold! And it's freaking it's supposed to be spring, but it's not. But, um, so anyway. Um, well, yeah, hope that was enjoyable, my things are falling, and have a taco baby. Bye-bye.